Hey everybody, Nate Chamberlain here showing you how you can determine in Power Automate whether or not a number is odd or even. So in my flow here, I've got a SharePoint item being created and I would like to determine if its ID number, which is built into every SharePoint list and library, is odd or even. So I'm going to create a new step after the item is created, so I know it has an ID, and I'm just going to add an action. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just go to Compose. Compose is just an easy way to see the result of a formula uh, without actually taking action. So I'm going to go to Compose, and then in my inputs, I'm going to have to use this dynamic content flyout out to the right, but I want to switch it over to the expression side. Okay, so click inside of inputs and then go to expression. Now for my expression, this is going to be a mix of a few functions. So at its core though, and this is where I'm going to start just to kind of build it out from the center, is mod. And what mod allows you to do is to basically divide two numbers and get the remainder. So this is a really easy way to tell if something was divided and was an even result, meaning it's an even number, or if it was divided and it had like a, a decimal, right, and it had a remainder. So we're going to use mod, and then I'm going to say the ID number of the item divided by two, okay? So to get the ID number, I'm going to go back to dynamic content while I'm typing my expression. Notice my cursor is still there, my formula is still there, and I'm just going to look for the ID field in my dynamic content, and when I find it, select it. Notice how it writes it in the formula for me. It's the outputs of the create item step and the ID field specifically from that body. All right, so I've got my ID number, and then remember in my mod formula, I'm going to divide it by two. So I do a comma, and as you can see in the tooltip there, it wants to know what I want to divide it by, and it needs to be a number. It can't be zero, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> so I'm going to go with two and close my parentheses. That's it for mod. Now I've got some kind of remainder or no remainder. Now I need the condition. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the beginning of my formula, and I'm going to write if. And then I'm going to say if the result of that is 1, meaning that it divided but there was a remainder of 1, then it's odd, right? Because if it divided and it was even, there wouldn't be that remainder. So uh, in the expressions here, we actually write out equals. Instead of doing like an equal sign, so we're going to say if equals, and then our mod that we wrote. And I'm going to go to the end, and to make it say equals 1, I just do comma 1 and close my parentheses. So if that mod equals one is what I've said so far. Then to finish the if statement, I have to say what I want it to say if it is one or not. So one more comma for my if statement, and then I'm gonna say odd for my first one inside of single quotes, just like that, comma, and then if it's not a remainder of one, I do single quotes again, and I'm gonna say even, and I close my final parenthesis. Now I'm gonna click on okay. That's gonna put it into my compose step. And then let's go ahead and test it. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to save. This flow is going to run again, and then it's going to create an item, and that item is going to have an ID number that we're going to see if it's odd or even. So let's go to automatically using a recently used trigger and test. Okay, it's going to go pretty quickly here. I created my item. Let's check our compose step. Okay, so it says odd. What was odd? Let's double check. So my create item step, if I scroll down, it says the ID of that newly created item is five. Okay, great. So I know that five is an odd number and my formula worked. Let's test it one more time and we'll make sure that it works for even numbers as well. So I'll just rerun that one more time. And logically, if this is the next item in that list, it should be number six and the result should be even, which we can see is uh, while we got. Now uh, with this, of course, we don't just want to know if it's odd or even, we want to use that in some kind of logic most likely. So at this point, maybe I add another step or an action here, and we're going to go with the condition control, and we're going to say if the output of that formula, which by the way, I could just put that expression right here if I want to in the choose a value instead of having an extra step there. Personally, I just like to see it there. So I'm going to say if the output of that or you know, the expression itself is equal to even, then maybe I'm gonna assign that request to a specific person, or maybe I'm gonna put it in a specific location to kind of even things out a little bit, you know, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna say add an action, and then in my case, I am gonna assign it to someone uh, kind of back and forth. I wanna make it even for two people who are handling these requests. So I'm gonna update the item.
And then in my assign to here for even requests, I'm going to say I want those to go to Adele. And then I'm going to copy this step. I'm going to go back over to No. I'm going to paste that step. And I'm going to say that Alex gets the odd ones. There we go. So then I know that two people on my team are going to get these requests somewhat evenly, and I don't have to intervene and go in and manually assign those to people. Now I have another video where I do this a little bit better, where we're not hard coding people's names into the flow, which isn't necessarily a best practice. This is good for just small things that aren't very important um, and you're just doing it real quick. But if you want to do this better, check out my other video on dynamically assigning um, items based on another list.